wanted to um share um a few of uh some of my old uh, videos of me and my son um hosting a uh local talk show before in Lethbridge, Alberta. Um when you know
first live performance of the evening by 21st Avenue Band, Austin Bowden, and Dayton Dance. Thanks for having us. Hey, you're welcome. How are you all doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Feeling pretty good? Yeah. So, uh, before we go to anything else, what is the story behind that song, Don't Sleep? Oh, you don't I, uh, sleep? <laughs> I kind of have a bit of an insomnia problem. Ever since I was a kid, I'm like, I don't know what it is, but as soon as nighttime comes, I just cannot shut my mind off. I don't know whether it's about music or the shows we're going to do, or I'll have a song idea, and sometimes I either go, well, do I sit here and record the song idea, even though i got to get up in six hours? Sometimes that's just a better move, though. Because <laughs> so I'll sit there and fester on it, and then I just go fix. So it's like, it's like a real problem for me. Yeah. So I guess you wrote that song in the wee hours of the morning Usually, or yeah. yeah. That's when I get most of my creativity, I think. And then sometimes I'll wake up and I think, like, oh, no. <laughs> but a lot of the time, it's pretty good. I'm like, you know what, that's it. And then Dayton wrote the uh, intro of that song. Oh, it yeah. And that's what kind of what inspired most of the act. It's really good, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty sick. Uh, like, originally, it was written a lot more ambient and just spaced out. Because um, I, I worked at this camp, and we had this, uh, they had this old lodge that's kind of like not used to it. It had this big empty dining hall, and there was nothing in there. Just really great, like, probably the best acoustics I've heard in some random building. But uh, just sat there sometimes in my free time. So in the middle of the night, Austin was calling me. Hey, I got a, yeah, I, I, got I, an I idea. was like, I liked that idea you had when we were jamming, and I had him record it and send it to me just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And I just, yeah, I had a bit of the song worked out already, and it just came as a place really nicely. Yeah. And yeah, that was the, was the title track of the album. So it's like the song. I've actually um, listened to that song before on um, the uh, Let's Watch Musicians. You posted that right yeah, here. Yeah, we posted it. Yeah, yeah that's the very first song yeah, with our video. Ever, yeah. that I've ever yeah. listened to, and I'm like, wow. So, um, yeah, um, you also played that um, when you performed at the um, Pops Hub on the West Side. Yeah, for our, that was for our debut for the album. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We released the I album there, a month yeah. before, but for the, for the CD release, you know, yeah. the hard copy, yeah. Yeah, I have that CD, yeah. Yeah. I got one. It's that day, yeah, with all your autographs. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, that's really fun. I like doing that a little bit. <laughs> but it makes me feel a little better. Teaching that I rock star. Yeah, I feel like a rock star. Yeah, it's like three people come up for autographs and they're like, yeah, your best friend's like, sign my shirt. to someone. If they, don't, they aren't showing up, how are you going to sign anyone else's autograph? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to practice it. I got pretty good at it. Um, so, alright. Um, what would you say some of your biggest influences were, too? Because I kind of felt a bit of like a search and see this kind of like vibe from your music a bit there. Like, like that folky type of stuff. Folky stuff. Yeah, we like, are in a three piece. Um, we all have kind of. Austin and I is kind of similar. Like, oh, yeah. We have Mind you, Austin and uh, Dayton both lived in Lethbridge, so the way Lethbridge is these days, and knowing that they're two stand-up people, they probably fought and fall into. As they really like, were yeah, so, like, and uh, are our friends. He's the drummer, yeah, uh, who's now not no longer in the band. But he was, he was a big metal head, yeah. I loved metal and EDM, surprisingly. Loved metal and EDM, and that was it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, those those things are the only thing things you have in common, I guess. Yeah, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, so, yeah. Wait, if you're a percussionist, you like that stuff. Like, funk's a little bit, so you learn most of it. That's where it all comes from, in a sense. Yeah. Funk's fun. Yeah. But yeah, I like I, I grew up on the music folk. Like in the first that I grew into it. He became all that type of stuff. I, that's why I've been recently studying. Oh, really? I've been okay. watching how he plays a little bit lately. I'm kind of trying to. Yeah. How old were you when you first started writing music? Writing music was the first thing I started to do. Uh, was when I was like, well, when nine. you were like six months old. <laughs> the first well, I thing you started I played guitar so a little bit, but it was always like. I played walking. guitar a little bit, but it was like, you know, Iron Man by like Black Sabbath, yeah. things like that. Like pretty simple stuff. Smoke on the water. Smoke whatever. on the water. Smells like Teen Spirit. And then. Uh, so you're my, like nine years old, you said? Well, that was when I was like four or five. And wow. Then, uh, I never, then I never really played. And then I played Stairway at six or something like that. Like, well, I didn't, I didn't learn Stairway to Heaven until I was like 18. Because <laughs> I just did because I, I knew it was like the song everybody knew. But yeah, when I was about nine, I asked my grandfather to play really well. Yeah. I was like, can you teach me how to play? He really got excited because he loves to play his favorite thing. And yeah, I just, so I learned pretty quickly. I taught him the simple stuff. G, D, you know, C, A, A major, things like that. 
chords, yeah. The main, you know, the, the ones you learn first. And I started writing songs, and I liked writing songs a lot more than learning songs at the time. Uh, but, you know, I, I've learned a lot more now that I started learning other people's music and using their influences and stuff like that. Personally, my influences would be like, I don't know, like Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Tragically Hip is in there for me. I write a lot of my stuff, a little Tragically Hip ish. And then we change it to Peyton Brings in his, like, uh, indie thing, and then, yeah. and then it turns into a race with that, like, like the metal box. Well, it's just, it's definitely like, world, yeah. And I can't sleep till there's definitely a bit of hip in there for sure, like from just like the way you sing it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I like to add like a bit of that like more downy, like uh, <laughs> sometimes you got to add like a little bit of a brado kind of things. Yeah, like that a little bit. Yeah, and then Austin, Austin's also a huge Glorious Sons fan. Glorious Sons, yeah. 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 What about you? How old were you when you started playing the guitar? Oh, well, man, when I first started playing, I was like, I think I was 11 or 10. Uh, I grew up in like a tiny town, nothing else to do. In the winter, I played lots of like, just for fun hockey. We only had a natural ice rink, so it was like, no, it was like, yeah. 